guys, Willie here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the all new 2024 Genesis GV70 3.5 Twin Turbo Sport Prestige. And a big thanks to Craig at Gettle Genesis in Sarasota, Florida for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below and if you're looking for a new premium car or SUV in the Sarasota area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Craig. And for those of you guys who don't know, the GV70 has been Genesis' compact luxury SUV since 2021. For 2024, the base 2.5 liter turbo models now get new 19 inch rims and upgraded brakes. The 2.5 liter turbo sport prestige trims now get front ventilated seats, rear window shades, and a booming Lexicon audio system. All 3.5 liter twin turbo GV70s get a new upgraded collision avoidance system, and the sport advanced trim gets new 21 inch rims. Ranging from the $45,000 base 2.5 liter turbo all the way up to the $67,000 3.5 liter twin turbo sport prestige that you see here. What else do we get for that money? Let's jump right in. So the front styling is a little bit similar to the GV80 we just reviewed in this channel, but this vehicle is a way more athletic model from the Genesis lineup. We still get full LED headlamps, four piece projectors for the high and low beam, LED daytime running light, no fog lights, but we get functional airflow in the corners, full front parking sensing, forward facing camera and a 360. Smoke chrome for the trim up front, radiator up top with active shutters. I like the diffuser too, how it has that functional suction for the intercooler down below. We get an inward bulge with the Genesis logo right up front and the wheel and tire setup. We get these 21 inch trims for the Sport Advanced and up. Additional side sensor to help us out with the 360. All body color trim for the wheel well and rocker panel side skirt area. These again are 21 inch rims, wrapped 25540 R21s. I like the design for the spokes and a beefy four piston Genesis Brembo style brake caliper. We mentioned all body color trim, blacked out body color mirrors with an additional camera helping us out with 360 and a blind spot camera detection. We get blind spot monitoring on the glass, it's a heated mirror with smoke chrome for the window trim, blacked out B and C pillars. Roof rails up top, panoramic moonroof, and a shark fin style antenna. We get smart access for the driver and a front passenger. Same rear wheel and tire setup, only difference is a smaller brake caliper, but it's still labeled Genesis. Hopefully you pick it up on camera. Additional side sensor out rear. The gas cap is pushed open. No easy fill and premium fuel recommended for this twin turbo V6. LED third brake light up top, LED tail lights, GV70 badge in the corner, Genesis in the center four-wheel drive 3.5 turbo on the right side. Rear parking sensing, third brake light with a button for the trunk release. We get LED third brake lights in the center with a pretty aggressive diffuser and a massive, what looks like a four and a half inch cutout for the dual exhaust tips. And speaking of the dual exhaust tips, let's fire up this monster three and a half liter twin turbo V6. And here she sounds. All right, guys, that was the sound of the monster three and a half liter twin turbo V6 sold by Genesis for the 2024 GV70 3.5T. And it sounds pretty good, making a very healthy amount of power at 375 horsepower, 391 pound feet of torque, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. It's enough to get this about 45, 4,600 pound all wheel drive SUV to 60 in under five seconds, making it competitive with SUVs like the Audi SQ5, while being, in my opinion, more luxurious and, to some people, a better looker. You notice the strut tower braces helping us out with the handling. The hydraulic struts are also appreciated. We can shut this hood right down, take a step back, walk around this 2024 GV70 one more time. And let's take a step inside and see what we get with a top of the line, fully loaded, compact luxury SUV from Genesis. Up top, we get leather stitching with white contrast, aluminum door handle, two Lexicon speakers on the door panel, and it is a booming system. Gushy soft armrest, a little bit of storage, four window auto on touch, power folding mirrors, and four way adjustable, two person memory seats, massive storage compartment, and it's all soft touch as well. You'll easily fit a foot long and a 24 ounce water bottle in front. Additional Lexicon speakers, there's actually three speakers on the door panel. We have an aluminum Genesis nameplate as we step inside. Beautiful Napa leather quilted perforated leather seats with white contrast. Fully adjustable, they're massage sheets. You can adjust the lumbar control, adjust the bolstering, recline, drop, lift, and slide with adjustable thigh support as well. Taking a step inside, 
we can really check it out. So foot on the brake, engine start, stop, and everything fires right to life. But first thing we notice, this is a really premium interior. The steering wheel is thick, solid 10 and two. We get perforated leather for the nine and three area, which is also perfect. It's not a flat bottom, but a very nice athletic steering wheel. The horn area is leather stitch. The horn itself, loud and aggressive. People should be definitely getting out of your way. We'll do a window check. We get dual panes. That's an impressive feature. We aluminum paddle shifters too. Voice commands, AM, FM, series, volume and skip controls. You can hang up and answer your phone calls and favorites. On the right side, this adjusts your 3D digital gauge display. It's a 12.3 inch digital gauge display. Right now we're looking at our advanced safety features, compass, drive info. You see trip A, trip B, accumulated info, attention level, tire pressure, power distribution, oil temp, torque and turbo gauge. And you can select the contents down below right back where we started. The tack shifts you at about 6,000 RPM, 160 mile an hour speedometer, fuel level, it's not a lot of gas in this vehicle, will definitely gas up before the test drive and the coolant temperature on the right side. The stocks have a very satisfying click and as you see, we get our blind spot cameras too, auto headlamps, auto high beams, and auto rain sensing wipers. We get a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel too, hill descent control, traction control you can disable, interior brightness, auto engine start stop we can disable, electronic trunk release, and an electronic parking brake, hood latch release, and hopefully get a good look at the aluminum outline pedals. All leather stitch trim for the dashboard too. We have a heads up display, hopefully pick it up on camera, and a 14.5 inch touchscreen. We're not gonna search for a gas station. The touchscreen has excellent overall response. Hopefully you can pause to take a look at all of the potential adjustments. It's a little bit far away if it's too far away for you. We also get this crystal dial that we can control everything as well. The map, let's check it out. It has excellent resolution. The response here is also just about excellent. We have different overall displays. We have the North Up 2D. You see like an old school camera, or not camera, navigation view. If you press the back key, it returns us right back where we were. This is my personal favorite screen to leave it at all times, so we'll leave it there. We get air vents beneath it with more soft touch, engine start stop, dual zone automatic climate control, heated and ventilated front seats, shortcuts with the infotainment beneath it, you can turn off the parking sensors, drive mode select. We have snow, eco, comfort, sport, and sport plus with custom mode. Sport plus gives you a little bit different of an exhaust note too. Let's try to hear what it sounds like in sport plus. Yeah, a little bit more beefy, but it really overall just raises the revs to give you a little bit better of throttle response. We'll start the review off in comfort, transition to sport and sport plus, and just see what the differences are. The gear selector controls the eight speed auto transmission, wireless phone charger, two USB A ports. You can close it right up and have more of that padded material. Two cup holders, you'll fit 24 ounce bottles with no problem. The armrest is gushy soft with white contrast stitching. Carbon trim for your knee will often hit and it's more of that padded material. Not leather stitch like it was in the GV80, but still feels very premium. You'll fit probably seven or eight 16 ounce cans in there with no problem, additional 12 volt. The glove box has an aluminum latch. It is damped, soft touch on the outside and lined in felt. This is a larger glove box than what we had on the GV80 we just reviewed in this channel. You'll fit 20 to 25 license plates. You'll easily fit a pair of shoes, possibly two. The headliner is still suede Alcantara. The interior lights are LED, sunglass holder with some aluminum trim in the outside of it. We can open up the shade for this panoramic moonroof and it opens up really quickly. The moonroof is super tinted. So even on sunny days like today, it doesn't poke too much into the cabin. See if it goes out any further, it does not. But just about to the second row of this interior, we poke our way out of here. Beautiful day in Sarasota, Florida. Sunny and 73 degrees according to this GV70. We can shut the glass right up. The shade follows it. We'll leave the shade open. So when we hop out back, you guys can see how much light is brought into the cabin. There we go, cool. That's about it for the front seat of this 2024 GV70. Let's take a quick look at this window sticker, see any features I may have missed. On this 2024 GV70 all-wheel drive, three and a half liter turbo sport prestige. With a $57,500 base price for the 3.5T GV70 non-sport prestige, these would be all the standard features that you would get for 57.5. For an additional 575 bucks, we get this Vic black paint color, 6,400 for the sport advanced package giving us a 21 inch sport rims, Napa leather seating surfaces, leather wrap wrapped upper instrument panel, microfiber suede headliner, Lexicon premium audio with the Genesis digital key. That's a mouthful. 360 view camera with the blind spot view monitor. That's one feature I didn't show you guys, the backup camera. So good thing the window sticker reminded me we have a super high resolution, crisp 
guidance lines and trajectory 360 and you can still get a good look at your map. Different views, we have an over the top view and a blind spot wheel view so you don't have to worry about scuffing these beautiful 21 inch rims and an overall 360, you can see everything around your 2024 GV70. Throwing it back in a park and we will return right back where we were. Continuing along, we also get the remote smart parking assist, parking distance warning for forward and reverse, parking collision avoidance assist for reverse, layered edge backlit trim, 3200 for the Sport Prestige package, giving us the 12.3 inch 3D digital instrument cluster, heads up display, three zone auto climate, forward attention warning, carbon fiber trim, heated rear seats, manual door shades too. 50 bucks for the cargo net, 160 for the cargo tray, 45 for the first aid kit, 150 for the mug guards, 11.95 for the freight and handling, totaling us out a tick under 70,000 bucks. So it's definitely getting up there in price, but there isn't a feature that this vehicle does not have, and it has the upgraded three and a half liter turbo. 20 MPGs combined, 18 in the city, 24 on the highway. For this window sticker away, let's hop out back, see how much space is offered back there as well as the overall quality of the materials in the sunlight this black metallic paint color also really shines so up top be it more of that leather stitch trim with a manual sunshade the gv80 we reviewed had an auto sunshade but not a big deal interior illumination with some aluminum trim gushy soft leather for the armrest auto one touch window lock and unlock we get two of the lexicon speakers on the door panel a little bit of storage for the grab handle and pretty decent amount down below. It is also soft touch materials. Genesis really knocked out of the park when it comes to the interior materials that we have available here. The rear seats are adjustable for the recline function. You can't slide them back and forth, at least I don't think so. The materials are unbelievable Napa leather, quilted and perforated, diamond stitched, really impressive looking back seat. As far as space, I'm a little bit over six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings and I still have about two, three inches of knee room, headroom, about an inch, inch and a half, but actually, I actually think that there's a little bit more headroom here than the GV80 we reviewed. We can also recline the seat pretty far back. And now I feel like the king of the road back here with about six, seven inches of headroom, but my knees are starting to touch when I scoot my butt up this far forward. We get cargo nets behind both of the front seats. You can adjust the front seat with the click of a button too, which makes it pretty practical for the passenger. And you can press this button over here and literally lift the seat up out of your way and have it as a leg rest but we're not going to do all of that additional third zone climate air vents too the center cubby here has a rope two additional cup holders you'll fit 16 ounce bottles with no problem we get hooks on both of the grab handles the interior lights are led the suede alcantara continues and we mentioned a super tinted panoramic mooner so even though you do get some light in the cabin look at the windshield compared to the panoramic moon that thing makes a huge difference anyway that's about it for the back seat of the 2024 genesis gv80 hopefully i can unlock this no i can't child locks okay there we go i turned off the child locks almost got scared thought i was gonna have to climb through this beautiful interior and make it all sorts of dirty but not necessary out rear we'll check out the cargo space so to open up the trunk there's a button underneath the rear wiper and it gives you a second or two seconds to get out of the way so if you got grocery bags in your hands it's not just going to doof you in the face the step in height not the highest my knees about five six inches below the step in so if you have older or smaller pets they'll hop back here but the roof line's a little bit low if you have a really tall dog may not be very comfortable long term anyway the floor space is solid i'll leave a link right here to show you exactly how much cargo space is here and with the second row folded down i'd expect you to fit Probably a 60 to 70 inch TV back here with no problem. Secret storage, let's see what we got. A little bit of secret storage underneath there and the spare tire and fix a flat kit underneath the actual floor. What you see is basically what we get though. We get two different buttons up top to shut the trunk. This button shuts the trunk. This button shuts the trunk and locks the vehicle. We don't need a lock, so we'll press the first one. Again, it gives you a little bit over a second to get out of the way. So you don't have to worry about getting doofed in the head. That's about it though, guys, for the inside and outside of the 2024 Genesis GV70, top of the line, three and a half liter twin turbo sport prestige. It is a beautiful SUV inside and out. Performance wise, let's take this 2024 GV70 out for a drive and see what it's got. All right guys, now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all new 2024 Genesis GV70 sport prestige 3.5 twin 
Turbo. Let's take it out for a drive and see what it's got. Starting off in comfort mode, the ride quality is unbelievable. You don't even feel the bumps. We have 22 inch rims in the GV80 reviewed in this channel. These are 21s. And it does feel a little bit better in the ride quality department. Torque is great. This is a few hundred pounds lighter than the GV80. GV80 does 60 in about five to five and a half seconds. This will do 60 even quicker. I think I've seen them as quick as five, 4.8, which for a vehicle this size, that is really impressive. Even quicker than say an Audi SQ5. The steering feels pretty good on center. The nimbleness of this SUV is also really impressive. Feels from a nimbleness and athletic department, similar, wow, that is interesting. He's just gonna park there too. Wow, but as I was saying, from a nimbleness perspective, this really feels like something you get from BMW. From a luxury perspective, like something you get from Mercedes. Lean into it about half throttle, the boost kicks in, and you are gone. This thing is quick. You look down and you're flying. The power delivery isn't quite as aggressive as what you would get from BMW or even Mercedes in their GLC 43 AMG, but it still has a very strong power delivery, especially once you get into that boost. That boost also carries up to about 5,500, 6,000 RPM. And compared to some of the other competition on the road today, that does not happen very frequently. You see a lot of turbocharged engine short shift. That's not the case here. The brakes also feel excellent. These four pistons up front. Overall, this vehicle really feels like an unbelievable balance of luxury and performance. Looks like a good opportunity to try one out off the line. Sport Plus off the line on the gas. Good response. Boost. Ooh. Oh, crisp shift, guys. Ooh. Yeah, I'm glad that guy saw me. Crisp shifts. The steering gets a little bit heavier in Sport Mode 2. It feels artificially heavy, though. I almost prefer the steering how it was in Normal Mode. Sport Plus turns off the traction control, too. The throttle gets a lot more responsive, and the engine builds boost a lot quicker in Sport Plus. The suspension also feels a little bit more stiffer and ready to go. I like it in Sport Plus. I wouldn't recommend driving every day in Sport Plus because at the end of the day, this is a luxury SUV and you also have auto downships in Sport Plus. Taking a step out here, we can open her up a little bit more. Good response. Oh yeah. Woo. <laughs> nice. And we can throw it back into comfort mode, not have to beat it up a whole lot further. And now just cruising along at highway speeds. You don't even hear a hint of wind noise. Road noise doesn't exist. This is a top-notch premium luxury SUV. Let's try a turning radius test real quick before taking this thing back to Gettle Genesis of Sarasota. The turning radius is excellent. Now in comfort mode, about half throttle, way less aggressive throttle. The steering gets a lot lighter but it still feels very sharp and direct. Overall, guys, if you're looking for a top-level luxury performance SUV, an emphasis on the luxury, this interior is top-notch premium. An emphasis on the performance, zero to 60 in under five seconds is nothing to laugh at. These brakes feel good, the suspension feels good, the power plant feels unbelievable, and the interior is as luxurious as you're gonna get in the sub $70,000 price point. If that's what you're looking for, guys, I would definitely recommend checking out the 2024 Genesis GV70. Check it out with the three and a half liter twin turbo. And if you want to spend an extra six or 7,000 bucks to get all of the bells and whistles, I would also recommend checking out this Sport Prestige. And a big thanks to Craig at Gettle Hyundai Genesis in Sarasota, Florida for help make this review possible. I'll leave a link to your inventory below. And if you're looking for a new premium car, SUV, or truck in the Sarasota area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Craig. And huge thanks to all you guys for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you. And I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment, let me know any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you want to see reviewed on this channel, and I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day.